Um, I've got a quick uh, lightning talk on how to uh, avoid a Kubernetes doom loop. Um, I'm David Collum. I'm a staff solutions engineer at Jetstack. Uh, we are a cloud native um, consultancy, um, uh, prioritizing it around training, uh, consultancy, strategic advisory, uh, and the likes. And today I'm going to go through a story about an issue that we had at one of our customers. Um, quite an interesting one, um, I hope. <laughs> Uh, some of the tools that we were using in the platform, um, you'd probably be more familiar with the logos, um, Argo CD, Argo Workflows, Kubernetes, Helm, Cert Manager, uh, and Flux. So we've all had this Friday deployment. <laughs> um, what happened? Um, so here's a graph of our pub sub uh, messages being uh, published. The customer that we were working with was doing a large scale uh, web platform um, a hosting solution. Uh, customers can sign up to the website, we schedule loads of pods, deployments, uh, and vice versa. That's kind of like our normal use case in staging is kind of, you know, 12 o'clock at UTC, there's a few things going on, but yeah, this Friday. Something went wrong and somebody did a deployment on the API layer. Um, bang. <laughs> um, Friday and we come in on Monday and that has just been going on and on and on. Um, I think it was, I realize I can't see the, so it's about 60 messages a second, I think, over the whole weekend. Um, so what, <laughs> what each one of those messages was doing was something along these lines. So it was like, we get a message from the back, uh, the front end uh, saying like, yeah, let's create an application of WordPress, whatever. Um, Argo Vents picks it up, uh, the workflow triggers, we get a Helm install, and we have this little run process to say, hey, uh, is the application ready? Uh, if not, we delete it. The specific feature that we were looking at here is like pool hydration. So one of the challenges that we had was installing Helm and installing a few applications, waiting for the um, deployments to be ready, ingress, TLS certificates, took a long time. So we did a, a pool kind of mechanism. So it's like we already had five, 10, whatever applications running in the cluster uh, over provisioning. And that allowed us to kind of have a really snappy uh, response to our customers. The challenge was the delete app was a fire and forget. So what happened was it was continuously going around this loop over and over. Um, yeah, and it, it caused a lot of hassle. <laughs> um, the impact for that, um, we were unable to create any applications in, um, in the cluster, like genuine ones, because uh, this pool was just continuously going around and around. Likewise, we were unable to delete any applications in the cluster. <laughs> so we were in a stalemate. Um, we also ran out of GCP instances or instances within our no, uh, Kubernetes cluster. Um, for our workflows and our workloads already deployed uh, with auto scaling, HPAs, uh, VPAs, uh, and such. <laughs> so, how did we resolve it? Was a manual cleanup. It took me six and a half hours to clean that up. There was like 16,000 deployments and 18,000 uh, workflows all pending pods pending everywhere. Uh, kubectl was just ridiculously slow to try and clean that up. Uh, I ended up having to uh, write custom Python scripts to do collections and kind of go, oh no, get rid of that. Um, it was interesting. Um, what was the root cause? Python non-variable reference within an ingress object. 
like that. <laughs> a simple mistake in the API layer whereby somebody did a singular and a plural variable name. How could we have prevented it? Unit tests, an integration test, of course. Um, but some of the um, preventions and safety measures that we could have put in as a platform team, not only from the, the developers and the API layer, was kind of dedicated workers. So, you know, this is a bit of a mixed um, role in a cluster. You've got your workloads uh, where it's customer related uh, applications running in there, but you've also got to do your workflows to kind of orchestrate different actions, uh, things like that. So, we decided to do some dedicated workers. So, all of our Argo workflows ran in what we called a system um, node pool in GCP, and all of the, app the customer applications ran in the main. Okay, um, we've got rate limiting, uh, so Argo uh, events has sensors uh, to do some rate limiting, uh, par parallelism limits, so make sure that we were doing uh, only running two work, uh, steps at a time, semaphores, um, so you know we can uh, make sure that only one ad app is running at a time, but 20 deletions, uh, or vice versa, uh, using work, work avoidance where we can as well. So we had a lot of workflows that were doing work that we did, didn't need them to do every single time. Be careful with retries as well, because we had our whole doom loop from retries. Um, kind of always put a retry policy in. Doesn't have to always be always, there's various other ones. Um, but a limit is also good as well. Um, we have had some of our workflows literally continue for seven days. You know, why? <laughs> it turns out it's just doing a retry loop over and over again internally. Um, Pod disruption budgets are really good. Um, we kind of use uh, spot instances for a lot of our workflows, so you don't want them descheduling halfway through for, because GCP's gone, I need that C uh, CPU. It's really easy to do, you just put pod disruption budgets. Uh, pod priority classes as well, you know, we wanted to make sure that some of our stuff, um, our tasks were kind of high priority, doing backups, for an example, for MySQL databases. You don't want to sat waiting pending for a backup, and the backup never gets done until like two hours later. It's like, oh great. Use metrics as well. They're really easy to do, and they're so powerful. Um, covered earlier on today as well, is like set workload, workflow defaults. Um, creating a config map, workflow uh, control config map. You can set everything really nice for, uh, from a platform team for developers, other engineers, don't really have to care about that and they've got them safeguards already in place. So, thank you, <laughs> um, ran out of time uh, for the last one, um, but yeah.